So I just wanted to show you a quick example of using the Photoshop Content Aware Fill tool and why I think it's so useful for myself as a wedding photographer and also any other photographer who needs to do a specific edit to a photo that would normally take ages or require you to actually go back and re um, reshoot the photo. So when you see this, um, you'll see what I mean. I've got an image here taken uh, at a recent wedding in Bali and uh, I'm just gonna load this up into Photoshop right here so normally I'd be doing this out of Lightroom and using the edit in function there uh, just right clicking the image the raw file or the edited raw file and it would give me the chance to open it straight into Photoshop but essentially it'll look exactly like this the reason why I'm using a JPEG here is just in case you don't have Photoshop uh, sorry Lightroom and you're just coming straight into Photoshop so I just want to show you this quickly um, as you'll see on the screen here um, there's the horizon line is really skewed here reason being when I took this photo uh, I was was on this cliff edge with the couple and there was hardly any room to work with so I was standing I was using a 35 millimeter I think here lens and I was standing very close to them behind me was like a sheer drop on the right and the left hand sides there were also sheer drops so yeah I was crapping myself at this point but I needed to get this one photo so I held the camera as far backwards and over my head as I could and I was kind of straining to get the horizon line straight but I couldn't so I just did the best that I could in this situation and this is like a perfect example of where I'm um, using post-processing is really going to help you deliver a photo like this to the client I'd probably deliver this anyway just because I don't think they'd be that worried about the horizon line if they were photographers as well it would probably annoy them I know it would annoy me I like my horizon lines to always be straight but whatever the case I've got Photoshop so this is how I would edit it um, in the past when you use the crop tool so let's just reset all this and get out of here so I'm gonna use the crop tool um, when you rotate the image um, as you can see so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to line up the, uh, the horizon line with one of those grid lines that was just appearing there when I'm rotating just to make sure it's straight um, this is gonna crop the photo quite drastically so if I just press enter there look this is kind of a nice photo I've got enough megapixels out of my Sony a7 III to be able to deliver that to the client um, it's still sharp and everything it just it loses a lot of the impact of the photo in my opinion because I've just got rid of a lot of the the original picture so there's the original there and um, I'll just show you again redo crop that's how it looked like if we don't use any content aware tool so let's just go back again um, so now with this awesome content aware fill tool you use the crop tool again but then up at the top here you'll see it says content aware so if you just click that make sure it's clicked and then when you rotate, you can still do the same thing. So you're lining up the horizon line with one of those grid lines and then let go and then press enter. And then you'll see that uh, Photoshop's just gonna work its magic here and rotate the photo, but also fill in the areas that were previously white or blank. Um, and as you can see here, it's done an amazing job of recreating the scene. So yeah, I'm just going to hit save now. And what did that take me like all of 10 seconds to do that? Um, I'm running like a really fast MacBook Pro at the moment here. Um, it's the latest 16 inch that's kind of specced out. So that's why that content aware feel works so quickly. But I've done this previously on an old 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch um, that was like struggling to run stuff. And that took probably about 15 seconds to do the content aware fill so just have a play with it guys it's a really powerful tool and um, yeah I just hope that this example gave you like a good idea of how you can use it in your workflow